The year is 1985, and that is what you've just bought at your local store. A phone log. Yes, there are all kinds of logs. This one's a phone log. TA-188. Telephone answering system. Yeah, for just a paltry sum of £185 back in 1988, you'd be getting yourself one of these puppies. A phone mate. Yep, a phone mate. Made in nowhere else but Japan. Check it this puppy out. Check it at high tech, high quality uh, device devices. Very interesting. Check out this invoice. This is the uh, company Champ Telephones in Coventry. I wonder if they're still around. And um, that was the price. 15% VAT. Wow. 12th of the 8th, 85. Where were you? So there you go. This is a, a letter from the owner of PhoneMate in California and it gives you a whole spiel here about his phone service check out this how to wire up your phone oh there's the uh london address the post office has not approved this telephone answering machine oh remember those days when you'd get into trouble for that look at that really amazing <laughs> what a why on earth would I buy something like this? Well, I'm very interested in things that are kind of time capsules. And this is one of them. Look at this. Telephone answering machine with a remote. How's that? Look at that. Wow. Here's the best part. It works. So inside of it, we have got not one but two cassettes, really quite funky. And uh, to take out your cassette, you have to hold this down. Where's that? Oh no, hang on, maybe I should stop it first. There we go. So you take that out and you have to take the tape out like that. And the head is permanently engaged unless you do that. Very interesting. Check out that phone lock. And the same, this is the outgoing tape and that's an endless loop of 20 seconds. So listen to this. I've recorded a message. Let's play back our outgoing message. So you go out. Check at this. Even the plastic is still on here. That's a sexy telephone launching machine. Really, really cool. I still test it out on the phone line, but I think it'll work. And look at this. Let's, uh, let's play back our answer. Answering message. AB Transfers UK. Thank you for your call. We appreciate it. Please leave your message at the tone and we'll get back to you shortly. Alternatively, you can reach us via the website abtransfers.co.uk. Thank you. Bye. And there you go. It hits the metal contact and it stops. And if you push play again, it'll just start at the beginning. This is Howard on AV Transfers UK. Thank you for your call. How's that for analog goodness? And then when that one's finished playing, we'll get back to you shortly. Alternatively, you can reach us. You can then record all your messages on here. I remember in the old days, I used to record music on my hi-fi and then that would go out with my message. Definitely a cool bit of analog funness. And uh, if you phone our offices, uh, hopefully in a couple of days, I'll uh, have this hooked up. And you'll be able to hear it live over the phone, just like it's 1985. Don't think you're going to get a lot of people with that uh, love of retro tech. And I must just say, this thing is built. It's amazing that out of the box, it worked. CPC adjust. I suppose that's to do with the number of rings before it gets answered. Look at that. So just a piece of new old stock. The phone log. Series 2. Oh yes, and there's a remote. So, before we had these uh, buttons that were um, push-button telephones, we used to have to phone via an analog phone and dial in or press this to get our 
to get our yeah there's a button and you'd hold this to the speaker on the mouthpiece on the phone and then you'd uh, you'd be able to get that uh, message back remotely how's that for high tech love it made in japan definitely a collector's item um yeah i got this for 30 quid on ebay plus about six pounds postage so quite a quite a good deal for something that's in the box and working I just gotta love it but there's a quick look at the phone mate 910 telephone answering machine thanks again cheers for now